so friends today we are going to prepare a very interesting compound as one dye so as we all know so dyes are very important for different types of industries like fabrics so for this reaction we need few chemicals so this is one 2 naphthol or beta naphthol so this is sodium hydroxide this is aniline this is sodium nitrite and this is concentrated hydrochloric acid now for this experiment i have taken 4 ml of aniline in a measuring cylinder from this aniline solution and i have to add this aniline into the hydrochloric acid the hydrochloric acid is a concentrated one so 10 ml of hydrochloric acid is taken now i am mixing the aniline into hydrochloric acid you can see huge fumes are coming out so and now i have to add 20 ml of water to the mixture this is 20 ml water i have added now this is one solution is ready now this is the solution in which aniline and hydrochloric acid is there i have added 20 ml of water so this solution is very hot we have to cool it up to 0 degree centigrade for this i have to keep this solution in a ice chamber such that the temperature of the solution can be reduced around 5 degree or less than that now since this solution is very hot i have to keep this solution in ice cold water so this is a chamber where water is kept so some ice blocks are also here so let us keep it very carefully such that the temperature can be reduced up to 5 degree centigrade or even less so I have to keep this solution at least for 10 minutes such that the temperature goes on, goes up to 5 degrees centigrade. Now I am going to prepare the second solution of sodium nitrate. So for this I have this sodium nitrate. I have to add this to water. Here 20 ml of water is there. This sodium nitrate I have, sodium nitrate I have taken in this beaker having 20 ml of water. So we have to prepare a clean solution and again we have to reduce the temperature to 0 to 5 degrees centigrade so i have to keep this in a ice cold water so now i am going to prepare the third solution so this is a solution of sodium hydroxide now this is beta naphthol or 2 naphthol so i am adding this 2 naphthol into sodium hydroxide we need to prepare a very clean solution of this 2 naphthol in sodium hydroxide so for this we have to stir the solution for a long time such that all beta naphthol goes into the solution again this solution is to be cooled down around 5 degrees centigrade so for that i have to keep this solution in a ice cold water now this solution is ready so i have to keep this in a high school water so now these three solutions are ready the first solution is aniline in hydrochloric acid second solution is sodium nitrate solution and the third solution is beta naphthol in sodium hydroxide now i am going to add the first two solution so let us add this aniline solution into the second beaker now i am going to mix these two solutions so for this i need a bigger beaker so first solution is transferred to the bigger one then the second solution i have taken which is of beta naphthol so let's see what happens very beautiful red color is coming now transfer the complete solution to the bigger one you can see very heavy precipitation is taking place so this is the formation of dye so this is azo dye this is azo dye produced between aniline and beta naphthol now you can see very beautiful red color precipitates are coming out we have to filter the solution then we get the dye 
Now this is the final compound. So this is an azo dye which was produced from aniline and beta naphthol. So these dyes are usually used for fabrication of the clothes. So if I pour some amount of this solution in a tissue paper, the color comes. Now if I dip this tissue paper into the beaker, so let's see what happened. If we dry this, it will be colored and it will be orange color. In cloth industry, so these dyes are used to color our clothes. So this is a orange dye. Now if I filter this solution and get the precipitate so the precipitate when it is dried we can get this type of powder so this is very fine powder which is a dye in the dye you can see to my hands also my fingers are becoming bit orange color 